Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 53. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find application idle time. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to find for how long the application is in idle state without uh, doing actual uh, work or any activity. Okay. So what is the solution? So the solution, there are two solutions here I'm proposing. So the first one is to use the application snapshot. So this is like a typical get snapshot command you can use get snapshot for applications on database name and you can look for the uh, monitor element application idle time. So it will tell for how long that the application is idle. Uh, you have to uh, update the statement monitor switch to on before uh, getting that snapshot so that that particular information will be captured otherwise it will be it will be saying not collected like that. And the second solution is to use a built-in routine. So uh, like the, the earlier thing is called as a snapshot monitoring technique. And uh, this one, uh, uh, the routines like in the recent releases, they have introduced the new uh, monitor routines, uh, specifically addressing the uh, monitoring functionalities. So that built-in routine is mon underscore get underscore connection. And uh, it is having couple of uh, elements here, like UOW start time and UOW stop time. So these two uh, monitor elements uh, we can use. So first we need to, like we, it is not a direct way here. So we have to say current stamp minus uh, UOW stop time or current stamp minus UOW start time. Okay, so that will be the elapsed time uh, difference uh, in terms of idle time. So, uh, so I'm using the timestamp diff function to find out the uh, elapsed time. Okay, so let's just quickly go into uh, the solution here, uh, so the examples here. Sorry. Okay. So here I have started the instance. I have connected to one uh, sample uh, database. So in another terminal, what I am going to do is, uh, so I also say initiate some transaction. So let me just initiate some transaction. Okay. So I initiated some transaction. List tables I have given. Okay. So it has come up with some uh, things. So let me just get the snapshot. Okay. Um, so control C in another terminal, I just go and try to get the snapshot. Uh, you can find that, uh, see everything it will say not collected because uh, as I was telling you, I have to update the monitor switches. So after updating the monitor switches, if I go and get the application snapshot, it's going to give me the required uh, answers. See here, yeah, so 13, to, so it is listing all the applications, uh, not specifically to my, uh, so I have just said get snapshot for application. You can even specify the application handle specifically and try to figure out what is the, uh, you know, specific agents uh, or applications idle time. Okay. So it, you can see that it is more than like, say all the things are like three minutes and 52 seconds roughly. So we can use the another. Uh, uh, routine also like another way uh, built-in routine also to do the same thing so I'm just connecting to sample and I'm using this function mon get connection okay so let me just run that again here so you can see that the timestamp diff function is what I'm using okay let me run that so you can see here the timestamp 72 so 72 meaning uh, yeah so uh, idle time in seven, so 72 seconds so 1 minute and uh, 12 seconds like that and it is in UOW wait state see if, if something is in UOW exec state then probably it is executing like that right so we need not uh, look at that so uh, UOW wait state is also important when you are using the mon get connection so you have to make sure that the trans the application status is in UOW wait state okay so you can see the application 7 is in UOW wait state okay mm. Let me again do a list table. So every time when I do list tables, the, uh, you know, it is coming out from the idle, uh, the, the idle time will be reset, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So closely we have spent about 10 seconds of idle time. See here, seven is 13 seconds. See application handle seven, 12 seconds right so it's able to give it correctly so for application handle what is the idle time so now again also i can run this 27 seconds yeah so 29 seconds 
so it's in wait state it's idle and also the other scenario that i was talking is let's say you know if it is uh let me go to that other terminal and i'll say db2 plus c double quote select uh star from uh staff fetch first 10 rows only like that okay so i'm not committing the transaction so you can see that now again i'll run the same thing see 4 seconds okay so now if you see this see he, that's what i'm doing here so uaw stop time will be null actually because we have just uh, started the transaction we have not committed or rolled back so there will be only start time so i have to use so that's why i'm using the colays function and saying like you know uh, either use stop time if it is available or use start time and uh, subtract the current time stamp from it okay so i hope this information and this is not the only way so there there could be some other way also so please let me know also so i'll also learn along with you guys um that's it in this video tutorial hope this information was uh, useful to you and uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then thanks bye bye